Hello there. Um, this video will show you how to use uh, Microsoft Teams. Uh, so first of all, you need to sign into Office 365. So if you get any search engine app, so I got Google here. So search for Office 365. And then you want to go to the Office 365 page or some sort of sign in page. So you can hear, see here we've got sign in. So I'm going to click sign in. And then you type in your email address. Uh, first of all, which will be your username you sign into the computers with. So if your name is John Jones, it's probably John.Jones. And then everyone has at clanition.cardiff.sch.uk. You then type the same password you log in school computers with and click sign in. When you've signed in, uh, you should then see all, these are all your office apps. Now while I'm here, the, he, up here in the top right is install office if you select this you can actually download office for free on your laptop or computer at home so if you haven't got a copy of office you can get it through school by clicking that uh, outlook is your email so if you don't know how to send emails you click that one OneDrive is, is your online storage so if you want to save files online and be able to use them at home or in school you can upload them to OneDrive but what we're interested in today is Teams now if you can't see Teams in this list click all apps and you should be able to scroll down there in alphabetical order and find Teams there so I'm going to select Teams now now when it loads uh, it'll give you this option because I, I, it's saying you can download the app. You can get the full app. You can get this for, from the um, the I, I Store, I think it's called, um, or the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Um, so you can download it, and it can give you. You can turn notifications on and off, so you get essentially get to know when things are posted. So you can use uh, your phones for that. So we're going to use the web app though, and that's absolutely fine. And here are the teams I'm in. So I've got four teams here. So if you're in a class and teachers add you, you'll see them pop up here. So I'm going to uh, go to uh, my team I've created here called 9C English. Now, before we do that, you've got a couple of things here. These are your assignments. I'm going to explain a bit more assignments in a minute. And this is your activity. Now, you can see here it says two things. No so think of it as like your notifications or social media. So if I select that now, you can see that I've mentioned something or I've added something. So, you know, you get little uh, mentions or if something's uploaded, you'll see it there. So I'm going to go back to Teams and select 9C English. Now, this is my main screen here. You can see here, this is where your teachers will post things for you. You can also, you know, type things in there. Um, so here you can see I've, uh, the teacher here has posted an assignment called book review. So we're going to click on view assignment there. And when your assignment opens, you should be able to see uh, a little instruction there. So it says, please complete this book terms book review. Use the presentation attached for tips and videos. So, so this here is telling you what to do. And you can see here the teacher has attached a, a presentation in PowerPoint and they've attached a link to a video. You know, so if you select those, it'll open them up and you'll be able to look at them. And if you, um, if you click the link, uh, it'll load up the video. And it's telling you here there's 16 points available. So this book review is out of 16. Now, on that, um, there's also when you've done your book review, you can click you can submit it by selecting, first of all, you need to upload it by clicking add work. Now there's a turn in option in the top right. You only select that once you've added all your work. Now if you're doing the work over several days and you're doing more than one document, you can click, keep selecting add work and as long as you don't press that, it won't submit it. So you can keep adding work and go back, come back again and add work or whatever. So I'm gonna select add work. Now here we've got several options. If, you're, if you've done your work online through Office 365, so you kept in OneDrive, you can you should be able to see your OneDrive documents here and you can you can uh, select it there. You can also create one or you can link it to something. But what most of you will want to do is select this one called upload from this device. Now basically that allows you to upload a document you've got on your computer or your phone. For those of you that don't have laptops or computers at home, that's not a problem. You can basically do your work on paper so you can look at the assignments let's go back a second so as long as you've got on your phone or your tablet you can look at the assignment here you can select the powerpoint and watch the video on your phone then you can complete the work on paper take some photos with your phone or your tablet when you select add work then click upload from this device and upload the pictures 
um, from your device, from your phone or from your tablet, and then the, the teacher will see that. So you don't have to have a computer or a laptop to use this. You just need to be able to view the homework on the, on the phone, and then you can upload it by taking photos of paper. But that's entirely up to you or what your teacher tells you. So once you've added all your work, you then hit turn it in. Once you've turned it in, the teacher then will get a notification saying you've submitted it. Now, once you get feed, once the teacher's marked it, you will then receive feedback. And again, you'll get a notification here that the feedback has been sent to you. So once you've got that notification, you can select it and you can look at what the teachers told you and look at how many points they gave you. So let's go back to the post section. So here now, if for example, you have a question about an assignment, rather than emailing your teacher, because you know, teachers get lots of emails and it's hard to track them. If you reply to that particular assignment, it makes it easy because the teacher knows what you're talking about. And on this note, can we please make sure we don't ask silly questions like, what do I do? Okay. I absolutely hate that question as a teacher, right? That doesn't tell me, you know, you. You know that's not specific enough you're going to ask a question ask a proper question say so, you know ask a proper question like uh, do I uh, com uh, complete the review on this terms book or last terms book now that's a proper question, okay? So be specific with your questions and hopefully your teacher will see it at some point and reply to you. If you uh, need to view the assignments as well, you can click your assignments tab. This will show you all your assignments for a class. So if I click on 9C English, click here and you should be able to see um, uh, any assignments. The reason that's empty is because I've turned it in, but you can see if I go down completed, you can view them. So this is how you can view them and look at what you've done in the past. So. If I go back to my team now, the one other thing I want to show you in here is if the teacher uploads files, for example, say they put some a PowerPoint they've used in lesson, that will appear in this file section here. So you can see here, I've added in your term one book essay. So that might have been something I did in the lesson. I said, right, I'm going to put it on Teams. So that's there for you. So you know where the work is you've completed so far. Um, if I select grades, again, this is where you can see book review turned in. It says no points because obviously I haven't marked it, but that's where your grade would appear. So if you want to have a quick look at that. And that's basically it. So just to summarize, uh, this is your main timeline. This is where your teacher will upload assignments, send assignments to you and write messages. If the teacher does a lesson or a video, again, it's just going to appear in this timeline. You literally just have to look at this timeline. Your assignments can be viewed here or on the timeline and any files will be stored in there. And anything that's create, uh, completed, uh, anything that happens is linked to you or a team you're in, it will pop up in activity. So you sign in through Office 365, find the Teams app, open up the team, and there you go. And just final reminder, you do not need a computer to use this. You just need a phone or a la something to look at the assignment and you can complete it on paper, take a photo, then send it to your teacher that way. If you have any questions, please ask your teachers and I'm sure they'll be able to help. Thank you.